Kaler with IUP Lively Arts is brought to us this morning by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people with all of the excitement that we've been talking about with basketball championships and the PA State Taxidermy and Wildlife Art Competition Outdoor Sportsman Show coming to the KCAC, the Builders Association Home Show. Kristen has even more entertainment for us. Kristen, good morning. There's how are, a lot, how are there's you? There's a lot going on in Indiana and at IUP, isn't there? <laughs> it really is. Uh, it's it's almost scary how much great entertainment there is out for us. And included among that um, is a return of an old favorite, uh, courtesy of yeah. Lively Arts. Yeah, they've been on campus. Oh, gosh. I was trying to get that figured out before I came on, but... I, I thought I found an old email where they had been uh, on campus maybe three or four times in the past, but the most recently they've been here was back in 2011, and that's the mystical arts of Tibet. Yeah. The Tibetan Buddhist monks from the Draping, Drapung Losling Monastery are going to be here this week. So I'm, I'm very excited about it. I actually had the pleasure of working with them at another venue, educational uh, university. Oh, I was figuring that out too. About 25 years ago, mm-hmm. uh, outside of Chicago, and I tell you what, I've seen what they do. Um, you know, they will make a beautiful mandala sand painting this week while they're on campus, uh, and I think it's going to be beautiful and quite an experience for people to enjoy if they've never seen it before. Yeah, so there was an opening reception held over the weekend, but um, now today is the opening ceremony, and that happens at 1 o'clock. The schedule um, really is is a busy one for them. They're going to be busy people here over the next couple of days. They are. They um, are actually the museum uh, reception, opening reception for the photo exhibition was this past weekend. Mm -hmm. But the monks are actually arriving sometime today, uh, to campus. They haven't arrived yet, but I'm expecting them this morning. Uh, but we have an opening ceremony scheduled, excuse me, excuse me, for one o'clock this afternoon. And the sand painting, excuse me, is going to be, and the opening and closing ceremony are taking place inside the University Museum. So I, you know, I think that's going to be wonderful to have the photo exhibit that people can enjoy. While they're there, I believe the monks will have some uh, things that people can buy if they're interested in uh, purchasing a memento that would also go to help the monastery uh, and enjoy the sand painting. Uh, so, and the, to top it all off, most of the things happening this week are free. Oh, yeah. So uh, the only thing there that we have that will be a charge associated with it is the uh, the show that's happening on Friday night in Fisher Auditorium. Mm-hmm. Uh, but everything else that's happening this week, including two lectures, is free. Yeah. Now, now, now the show that you mentioned coming up on Friday is uh, a sacred music and sacred chants performance at Fisher at 730. And you get your yeah. tickets now, can't you? You can get tickets now for it. You could go online to the iup.edu slash lively arts website and just click on the t- purchase tickets link. It will take you to the web page where you can purchase tickets that, to that event. Or you can just show up the night of the show. Uh, the box office opens an hour before the performance. So the box office will be open at 6.30 on Friday. Yeah. Now, now describe for me what Mandela sand painting is. Well, you know, one of the things that I like to remind people is one of the things that's gotten big and I don't know what, what it's been, maybe the past 10 years or so, you'll see these adult coloring books <laughs> where uh, there's this beautiful design, and uh, it's full of different colors, and uh, so they, it's almost like they're coloring in an adult-sized coloring book with millions of grains of sand into a beautiful design. Uh, usually a circular design with all kinds of uh, decorations on the inside. Uh, But it's quite beautiful. And from what I understand, it's it's also a form of meditation creating this sand painting. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it created. And the creation of the sand painting, since it's so large and since it takes so much time and care, uh, it's taking place over a series of days. And uh, it's going to be 10, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, uh, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday, it'll be 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh, because they need to stop that early to get ready for the performance that evening in Fisher. And today, following the ceremony until 6 p.m., there will be sand painting happening. Yeah, and uh, afterwards, after the ceremonies, um, then the, the sand art is destroyed. Uh, and, it is. And then the audience gets a little bit of participation in this as well. It really is a unique uh, presentation, and... Uh, uh, and the, the symbolism behind it is pretty fascinating. It's quite beautiful, and, you know, it's been quite a while since I've heard more about the symbolism, but I, you know, one of the things I do remember, it's talking about the impermanence of life, and, you know, I think we can all uh, understand and appreciate that. So yeah. it's quite a beautiful experience. Uh, a couple things in the middle of the week that I'm looking forward to, and I think, you know, it's quite timely is that they are doing two lectures during the week, both of them in some way dealing with emotions or meditation. Mm -hmm. So on Wednesday, March 22nd, there's a free lecture. And, you know, this is open to the community as well. Uh, the, I think the one that I'm really looking forward to is on that Wednesday from 3 to 4 p.m. in Jane Leonard Hall, formerly the Health and Human Services Building. And that's in room B as in basement, 10, and that event is free, but it's called Meditation for Focus and Stress Relief. Mm -hmm. And the day following, at the same time, same place, the title of that lecture is A Buddhist Approach to Working with the Emotions. So again, both of these, I think, are going to be very interesting, and you know, it can be something that could potentially be helpful in life as well. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So that's one thing folks can take advantage of with IUP Lively Arts. Got some theater by the Grove and music theater going on as well, right? We do. Um, there is a production uh, entitled A Blossoming Romance that's opening up soon. And it runs five performances from March 29th through April 1st at 7.30 p.m. And this is all on the Waller main stage. And they're doing, of course, a matinee on Sunday, April 2nd at 2 p.m. And the tickets range from $12 for students up to $18 for adults with a discount uh, in for uh, senior citizens and military at $15. Mm -hmm. But we're really fortunate that this is a premiere of a new musical, and that's really special. You know, students don't necessarily get to involve at this level, but uh, it was written by an IEP alum. I believe he graduated in uh, 2012, Joe York. And the students have the experience also of working with a special guest artist, Simone Serafin, who's a Broadway actor and regional theater director. So, uh, you know, I think really special experiences happen on the IEP campus. Our students receive all kinds of great training. And, uh, you know, they get to enjoy, we get to enjoy the fruits of that labor, um, you know, with a, yeah. a new musical. And that's at Waller on uh, March 29th. It's in Waller. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. So those are a couple of events, but there's much more happening at IUP. Just because the semester is uh, halfway through doesn't mean we're uh, even uh, halfway through all of the wonderful <laughs> events that you have planned, uh, Kristen. It's a, it's a big schedule coming up, isn't it? A big schedule, uh, all kinds of recitals happening, uh, a, a bunch of free performances by the, the music department at IUP. Um, I will note that a faculty recital was canceled for uh, this evening, but, uh, you know, there's all kinds of other, plenty of other artistic and yeah. uh, entertainment options available. Yeah, and uh, for folks to get an idea of what that schedule is, they should visit iup.edu slash livelyarts slash events, right? Yes, and, um, you know, if they do have any questions or need some help purchasing tickets, 
we do invite them to call our office, uh, and our office number is 724-357-2787. If, you know, if we can't get to the phone, please leave a message and we'll call you right back. But, uh, you know, we're happy to help however we can. Beautiful. All right. That's a a wonderful, big, big schedule of events at IUP Lively Arts as this semester rolls on. And Kristen has been kind enough to visit with us here today. Kristen Kaler, have a wonderful day today, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you so much, Todd. You do the same. All right. Bye now. Bye-bye. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160.